Hello and a happy holidays from inside Leafs TV. The Marlies are in Rockford on Wednesday to face the Ice Hogs in their final game ahead of the holiday break. Toronto's had a tough time on the road, having dropped their third straight on Sunday, but the final scores not telling the full story. On Friday, Toronto greatly outshot their opponents. On Saturday, it was a one-goal game until an empty netter in the final moments. And on Sunday, well, Sunday was within a quarter inch of being tied. Want to see for yourself? Here's the final moments. Deep slot now. Padre fakes. Miller channeling him. Holzer picks up control across the ring. Sigamas off the crossbar. This the slot. Padre shot. Stop by the traffic. Now it's Holzer. And a third time runs out. A late shot by Colburn. And he back. Picks up the win. Is second of the week. Heading into their final game ahead of the holiday break, the Marlies still hold a five-point lead on the North Division. And recent struggles aside, had you asked me in September what I wanted for Christmas, all I would have said was a playoff team. Little did I know that when I asked you the same question, how creative your replies would be. Brian on Twitter says that his Marlies Christmas wish is for Domingo and Geisberg to be interviewing the media instead of the media interviewing them. Eric wonders, when are Marley's fans going to be treated to Todd Ford, JFRC, and JSO Band highlight packages, and then hashtag that retro Marley's? And Andy, with my favorite, says, my Xmas wish is for Ben Scribbins and Jerry D'Amigo to make an ice cream flavor called Rocky Rico Rose. The Marley's too want to keep in the sphere of things and had this to say about the holiday season. Take a look. All right, this is Ben Scrivens here. I'm going to interview a couple of the guys here. Jeff Finger, what's the best hockey Christmas present you've ever received? I'd probably have to go with uh, the old Gretzky aluminum. The Gretzky aluminum, eh? Chrome finish. Chrome finish. Yeah, it was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Greg Scott, if you could have a hockey gift this year, what would it be? Uh, I think I'd have to go with a brand new pair of roller skates uh, for, uh, you know, um, roller hockey in the summer. Is that, uh, that's big out west? Huge. One of the biggest. <laughs> and uh, Simon Geisbers, uh, if you could give a hockey gift this Christmas to anybody, who would it be and what would it be? I'd probably give Greg Scott his roller skates. Good teammate right there. You know, he's my roommate. i got to treat him well. <laughs> if asked, Dallas Aikens would have likely requested the league's top penalty kill, a gift evidently come early to the Marlies head coach, as Toronto's 87.7% efficiency when down a man is good for number one in the AHL. Toronto's shorthanded unit will likely be put to the test on Wednesday when they face the Ice Hogs as Rockford's power play has scored three times in their last game and four goals in the last two. Brandon Peary, a second round pick in 2009 and former teammate of the Marlies' Jerry D'Amigo, had his hand in all four power play goals and presently leads the team with 31 points. As it is the holiday season, it is likely the only time 20 grown men can come together and lip sync a Mariah Carey song. My gift to you is a short clip from probably one of the best ever holiday Christmas videos. So whether you're heading home for the holidays, seeing friends, seeing family, or preparing that holiday feast, be sure to first tune in the game starting at 8 p.m. on AHL Live and AM640. Hit me up on Twitter at Chancellor, let me know what you got for Christmas, and tag all your Marley's chatter with hashtag Let's Go Marley's. Remember, for full game highlights and player interviews, check out marleys.ca, but most importantly, have a safe and happy holidays.